So we're in um, day two of the lockdown. A lot of people at home, a lot of people wanting stuff to do. Um, a lot of people worried about food. Um, so today we're going to be looking at growing salads in small spaces. Um, somebody asked about um, growing food and living in a flat and not having the luxury of a garden. Well, this is a perfect solution. Um, all you need, you can either do it in some small pots, which is good for the kids. Shallow, circular, or these here. So I'm going to grow these and then a couple of my very lucky friends might get a, a nice present in a few weeks time. So what do we need? We've got the watering can, we've got our pots, got some compost here and I've got some seeds. I've got lettuce, cosmic lettuce, that's lovely. Some pak choy, which is my favourite in a stir fry and some basil. So, mix it up nicely. Get all the lumps out. If you haven't got much money or you can't get to the garden centre, you don't need to use plant pots. You can use plastic pots from home. So yogurt pots, ice cream pots, um, any plastic container. Ideally, you can put holes in it as well to give it some drainage, put it on a tray, and that will work just as well. So, keep it nice and flat. There we go. Don't need to go right to the bottom here. You just really want the first, you know, 20 mil, two centimeters wet, really. Just because you're only planting at the top for the moment. It's when they get bigger, then they need more. The great thing about salad is you can pick it at any time. You don't need to wait for it to be fully grown. I used to uh, know a guy down at Keverell Farm many years ago, and he used to, grow salads a lot he was microgreen so he believed that actually salads mizuno lettuce uh, rocket winter purslane there's loads of different types out there but he believed that actually the flavor was when they were sort of this you know when they were sort of this height so you know you can eat them even when they're when they're this sort of height but it, when they get to here and when they get fully grown they do lose some of the flavor so a lot of restaurants pay a lot of money for microgreens and that's small le you know small lettuce small mizuno at this sort of height and they, they put it over the top of the food and it tastes amazing so the bigger it gets you might lose a bit of flavor right so we need to arrange what we're going to do we've got basil lettuce and pak choy Right, I'll come up, I'll, I'll zoom in in a sec. Okay, see there, got quite a few seeds. So I'm gonna do a mix. I think we're, we're gonna experiment. Let's do one pak choy and lettuce and one basil and lettuce. So. As I said, it doesn't really... matter. And, you know, I've probably got about 50, 60 seeds here. And that's fine. Some of them will grow next to each other. So for the kids, this is a great one. Just a small pot. Maybe 20. I'm going to do just there, right. There's about, yeah, about 25, 30 seeds in there. I've got basil here as well. I'm gonna do one just lettuce. That's for the, well, for the kids, I mean, a bit more of an experiment. One just basil, one lettuce and basil, one lettuce and pak choy. Okay, 
show you, this is the basil, okay? So, I'm not, we're not gonna put as many basil in here, but there's about 20 there. So it doesn't really matter. I mean, you, you know, you wouldn't want to put just like six or seven in here. You probably want to put 25, 30 seeds in all together and then you're going to get a nice crop. Okay, so we've got basil in there. Um, yeah, let's put, I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, about sort of 20 in there, that'd be fine. And the great thing is, you can also grow in here, when it's getting to this size, you can prick separate ones out and put them in the soil. So you grow them under, ideally indoors to start with, and then you can prick them out and put them outside. Right, pak choy, my favorite, love this. Oh, this is a stir fry, you cannot beat it. So, yeah, I mean, things are not good at the moment. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to see my daughter next because her mum had respiratory issues, so that's an issue for me. But I know everybody's got some worries. Some people have got financial worries. Some people are worrying about grandparents or their parents. Other people might be sick themselves or need an operation. Other people are isolating, self-isolating, which you know is is a is a is a, is a, is a difficult thing to do. And you know the idea is. You know, you've got to keep busy. You've got to keep, if, you, if you've got children, then you've got to structure it. You know, an hour of art, obviously schooling, an hour of dancing, an hour of music, painting. Everybody's got to find their passion, whether it be sewing, music, singing, dancing, reading. Life is very busy. Everybody complains about not having enough time in this day and age. And now is the perfect time for everybody to sit back and actually do stuff that they love. Okay, so we've got a pak choy, lettuce, lettuce, basil, basil, lettuce, I think. That's when you've got to start labeling stuff. Okay, a little bit over the top there. Okay, I'm gonna put the rest, I've only got a few left, so I'm gonna put the other basil in there. That's also, and then I'm going to put some pak choy in this one here with this salad, I think that would be nice. See what I love about growing on this scale is you can give those to a friend. There you go. When it's up this high, after hopefully four or five weeks, watch this space, you can give that to a friend. There you go, there's your nice edible garden with some greens, some goodness, and maybe inspire somebody else to grow some food. Okay lightly sprinkle over the top let's not get too technical about this you know how much do i put on is it going to be enough i'm just doing a thin layer so i can't see the seeds if you did a little bit more it wouldn't be the end of the world if there's a couple of seeds showing it's not the end of the world take out the lumps if you haven't got compost from the garden center you can sieve some soil that's what you want to do or just you know just get all the big stones out of the soil Okay. Right, lightly pat, try and make it nice and even because when, when it gets watered you don't want certain areas flooding, there's a couple of bits in there, this compost, it's got a few lumps in. So there we go, if you are at home, if you have a small space, this in three, four weeks time is going to have a lovely lovely food patch on your windowsill if you you can put them outside as well but it's always best to start on the windowsills and then take them outside if you've got the space lightly water watering lettuce every couple of days when it dries out then you've got to water it again you don't want it dry for too long you know you can dry for maybe half a day or something you could go away for a day he says, forgetting that we're all in lockdown at the moment, but if people watch us in the future. So, watering. When they get bigger, obviously you have to water more at the moment. I'm just doing a surface water. This will, you know, go down a few centimetres into the soil. There we go. 
so there we go guys these will start coming up in probably seven to ten days you can keep them here you can put them on the balcony you can leave them in your window if they start growing to this size you can prick certain ones out and plant them in different areas um, yeah enjoy guys and everybody stay strong be safe and enjoy growing and eating your own food